hi guys today i'll be talking about selling trips clothes now trip business is a very wonderful and lucrative business this is a business that has been tested and trusted over time it's a business i have done many years ago so after my final exams in school i really needed to start a business i needed something to give me money when i knew that um they were going to be paying me nineteen thousand. Um, for NYC and I was very sure that that money will never be enough for me So I decided to do trips business with my sister my sister and I um, Decided to own a shop close to my school. We rented our shop at a good price. It was cheap And then we went to a bar to get these items So sometimes if I go to that market, I can buy a, tr a pair of trousers for just a hundred and fifty naira and I'll sell it at 1,500 or 2,000. So you can imagine the profits. Um, the, the challenge of that business is that sometimes when you go to the market, you can't find enough things to buy. The rush is always too much. In fact, you need to fight to buy these things because there are many crazy people out there that want to also buy the same thing. Some of them will just rush and at the end of the day, they won't even buy. And then when I started my... Um, NYC in another state it was difficult for me to uh, manage the business going to buy stuff selling at the same time but my sister still kept her own part of the store at the time she was going to Lagos to buy things in fact she was getting better items in Lagos and I'm going to mention the places in Lagos where you can get good um, second-hand clothes most times these things we call second-hand clothes are not really second-hand they're end of stocks Westminster you can get second-hand clothes in Westminster in fact the clothes you get in Westminster in Lagos close to a papa your the, the clothes are just end of stock clothes that have never been worn at good prices so if you're able to locate the place try to get the phone number of the person selling to be sure that um, they they have new stock available before your next visit Another market you can get second-hand clothes in Lagos is Katangwa Markets, but I learned the market has been demolished. That's a pity. But then there are other markets. When I visited Nigeria, I asked my sister to take me to Yaba because she knows the market very well. So we went to Yaba. Unfortunately for us, we got there late and we couldn't find something um good but she said it's all um if i if i get there on time i'll always have good things most of the clothes she was selling after i left the business i bought most of them from her and i was wearing these clothes to work in fact i was working in a very good place that most of the ladies there they traveled out to buy their clothes so you can imagine most of them asking me do you travel out to buy your clothes where do you buy these clothes and these are second hand clothes anyway travel i traveled to united states of abba to buy the clothes now when we went to Yaba Market, I saw this. You can imagine, we even went late. I saw this belt there. I got this belt at 700, which is less than 2 euros. Um, I got this top. I couldn't find the kind of clothes I actually had in mind. But instead of going there and just coming back without anything, I bought this at 600. I bought this too. So I'm still doing my research about this business because it's a business I love so much. I'm selling out some of my used items already over here and I still want to buy in a large scale and sell. So I want to be sure I'll be able to send some of them to Nigeria. I'm still working on the, um, the shipping method, how to send it easily to Nigeria for people to buy and sell. Last year, I came across this at CMS. So I was on my way back from the market and I saw this. I couldn't get over it. So I went there and I bought this at 1,500. So you can imagine how beautiful. I had to pair it with a new leather skirt I bought from Pinky. Let me explain to you how to buy this clothes. If you want, if you're buying second hand clothes to sell, you have to be sure of the fabric. There are people that they don't know um, good clothes. The only way they can determine if a dress is good is by the price. No, then trip business is not for you. The strip clothes business is not for you. Now, if you're buying clothes, you should be sure that you're buying cotton, linen, I mean good fabrics that even if they're still in stock, even if you still have them with you, after some months, they'll be looking new. You don't need to be buying polyesters and nylon. So, you need to look for and brand names good brands that have a good reputation for selling um, clothes with good fabrics those kind of clothes can stay in your store for a very long time and you're going to make profits with these clothes 
Another important thing you need to take note of when buying trips clothes is trends. You need to know what is trending. If you don't know what is trending, you can go to a store where they sell new clothes, try to find out what is trending, find out the style of dress that is trending, what people are putting on at the moment, so that when you go to these trip stores, you'll be able to buy these things. You also need to avoid buying clothes with embellishments clothes with too much um, uh, with sequins with um, big designs and all that because most of these designs they, they wear off with time and you, you won't be able to sell all those clothes so if you're buying clothes with designs embellishments on them be sure that even if you take off those embellishments beside behind it is still going to look clean for you to sell now most of these clothes when you get home you still need to wash them you need to iron this clothes to look very good for customers to buy if you can wash an iron you'll be able to sell them at a very good price it's a very wonderful business it's a business you can start with even less than fifty thousand. so it depends on the distance if you're traveling to a far place to buy this dress you need to go with more money so you don't just waste your transportation for nothing but if you can find a wonderful place close to you to buy thrift you can start with even as low as twenty thousand to do this business so even while I was in the university, I was going to my one market in River State to buy secondhand clothes for myself. And I was nominated as one of the best dressed students in the Faculty of Sciences, University of Port Harcourt. You know what that means. So you see, secondhand clothes can look very good if you know how to style clothes, if you have an eye for fashion. Because while I was in school, there was no way I could buy all those US clothes and um, those expensive clothes they were expensive for me then so I was going for second-hand clothes and then I'll just have only few of those um, US clothes to pair them with and uh, to pair with it sometimes so consigning second-hand bags it's one of the businesses I have helped my mom manage and it's a wonderful business but the problem is that sometimes those bags they peel off so if you keep a bag for like if um, maybe six months without selling the bags you might not like them especially if they're not pure leather and pure leather bags is not something you easily see when you go to the markets you might find just two or three so you can imagine and you wouldn't want your money to waste when you get there you just want to buy some other things that are that are available so um, you need to be careful selling bags but i can assure you clothes are a sure bet for selling trips you know whenever you want to buy clothes in fact it's very easy for you to keep clothes for a long time without having issues and these are things you can always wear to take pictures you can always put them on a dummy if i just get a dummy maybe this silver colored dummy or gold to make it look very attractive style these things on the dummy take pictures put the prices put on instagram if you have a website to put it on the website you're going to make cool profit selling trip women will always buy clothes in fact because of social media a lot of women are wearing clothes when they take a picture with the dress and post it once on social media they wouldn't want to, rep um, to repeat that dress especially people that are into um, entertainment so um, it's a very wonderful business because you'll be able to help do this recycling and the moment somebody wears a particular dress and wants to resell it the person is definitely going to sell it at a lower price it's a very wonderful business so give it a try and let me know what you think Thank you so much for watching this video and don't feel to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!